Joe, you played a really big part in two really big wins over the last couple of matches. Uh, must be all smiles in that dressing room this morning. Uh, yeah, definitely. It's always good after a win, isn't it? Um, yeah, it's positive all around the club, um, around the team, and um, we've got to keep it going forward because it, it, it's massive, you know, the energy and um, positivity. So, yeah, two big wins. It's a big contrast to go from back-to-back -back defeats for the first time all season to back-to-back -back wins. Does that show the character of the group coming through? Yeah, it just shows, yeah. You know, clearly we were, um, weren't good enough, so we had to change that. Um, and I feel like we've done that. Um, and yeah, you know, eight more to go, uh, or whatever it is. So we've just got to give it everything. To focus on you, uh, you come back into the side for that game against Port Vale. 3-0 win, two assists arguably man of the match. Um, that must have been exactly the performance that you personally needed. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I was saying it to a few people that I, I needed a good performance, um, especially at home as well. Um, um, yeah, I feel like, you know, a, li a little bit written off by, by a few people and, and but um, obviously you just focus on yourself and I've been doing that for, for a long time, making sure I'm right to step in at any time and um, yeah, I got my opportunity and uh, I took it hopefully. Yeah, I was looking back at the season so far for you. Started really well, and then you had that freak heel injury, I think. How much did that disrupt things? Uh, yeah, it was uh, obviously I had a good pre season. I was feeling good um, going into the season. And yeah, um, it, it, it was disappointing, um, you know, annoying to get. Um, but it, it just happens in football, you know, you just got to get on with it and recover well and then um, try and get, get back to where you were. You know, when you when you when before you got that injury. So, yeah, I'm hoping I'm I'm in a good place now, and it continues. You talked about maybe being written off by a few. Do you use things like that as motivation to, to prove them 100%, wrong? Hundred percent. Yeah, hundred percent. It's just it's just fire. You know, you just want to just want to prove everyone wrong, and um, I just do it for myself. You know, if if I'm if I'm you know fit and firing, um, it just gives the opposition another person to worry about. You know what I mean? So. Um, yeah, I feel, I feel I'm in a good place and as a team we're in a, we're in a great place, so just got to keep it going. I've talked and, and had a lot of conversations throughout the course of the season with, with guys about the amount of experience, promotion experience in this squad. Um, you've got one on your CV, uh, of course. Do you guys ever, I don't know, swap stories, talk about what you've been through, what might be able to help this time around? Yeah, definitely. You always speak about it because it's good experiences and, and it's good to share and, and get different opinions and, and knowledge of different people. So, um, And then you're hoping it helps in these situations. Um, so, you know, it might be a case where it's not going to plan or not going right, and then you might think, like, what someone told you, it, do you know what I mean? You might take it, things on board. So, But, yeah, we're in a good place. We've just got to keep it going, focus on ourselves, um, yeah, and, and push until the last game. Yeah, you're into the final stretch. Two massive home games this week. How do you approach them? Um, just as, as important as, as every other game. Um, you know, focus on Tuesday, most importantly. Um, go into it with positivity like we are. Um, you know, take the game by the scruff of the neck and, and yeah, try and, try and get a win.